Hey guys, welcome to this video. So in this video, I'll be solving the question number 268 of lead code, missing number. It's an easy problem, but uh, it's based on an important concept. So let's start. We are given an array nums containing n distinct numbers in the range of 0 to n. Now this point that we are given that the numbers are in a range of 0 to n, it's a very big hint that we have to use cyclic sort. Whenever we are doing continuous evaluation or the numbers are from 1 to n or 0 to n, it is a big hint that we can use cyclic sort. We must start with cyclic sort. We must approach the question with cyclic sort. Okay. Then return the only number that is missing in the range from the array. Okay. We have to return the missing number. Also, the follow up is that could you implement a solution using only O of 1 extra space and O of n time complexity? This also is a hint that we have to use cyclic sort okay so let's see an example first 301 okay so first we'll sort the array in ascending order it will become 013 and we have to return the element that is missing from the range that means the continuous range is given 0 to n and the element that is missing from between we have to return it okay so first let's see the algorithm behind it okay I have taken the lead code example 301. So first of all, we'll use cyclic sort. First, let's index these elements 0, 1, and 2. First of all, we'll use cyclic sort. And if you don't know what cyclic sort is, you can check out Kunal Bahia's channel. The link is in the description below. You can feel free to check it out. It's a very good channel. He's providing such quality content, everything for free. For, please check it out. Yeah. So the ind indices are 0, 1, and 2. Now, when we are using cyclic sort, we have to as our range is from 0 to n so while using cyclic sort the index of every element will be the element itself as in 0 will be on 0th index 1 will be on 1st index 2 will be on 2nd index and so on ok then let me just rub it yeah so the index this is provided now when the uh, program will first run it will check is 3 on the correct index no it will stop it it will become 0 3 1 index is 0 1 2 now it will see 0 is the correct index yes it's the correct index it will go for the 1 now, now the indices are <coughs> 1 and 2 the elements are 3 comma 1 it will check is 3 on the correct index no it's not it will stop it <coughs> sorry then the 1 will be on the first index and 3 is here now what will check is 1 on the current index yes it is move forward is 3 on the current index no ideally it should be 2 here but the array is sorted the loop will exit ok so the sorted array will be 0, 0, 1, 3 now we have to return the missing element ok we have to miss, return the missing element from the range of 0 to n now it's pretty clear that the range of 0 to n here is 0 to 3 the n here is 3 so we have to return the element that is missing from 0 to 3 it's pretty obvious to the human eye that the missing element is 2 but how can a computer figure it out as the indices are 0 1 and 2 doesn't it ring a bell it's from the indices it's pretty clear that the element is equal to the index itself also one more one more thing let's say the array given to us is 0 comma 1 okay so now what should we return from here it's clear that the range is 0 to 2 because it contains two elements so the range has to be 0 to 2 but 2 is missing here so in this case we will simply return the length of the array we will return the length of the array ok ok so let's code it ok friends so let's code it as I have told you as I mentioned earlier also if you are not familiar with cyclic sort I recommend that you visit Kunal Vaya's YouTube channel it's pretty amazing the 
quality content that is providing for free it's pretty amazing trust me guys it's pretty amazing okay so come into the code it's pretty simple actually while the while loop will run till the length of the array as we have to find the missing duplicates and the int correct this is the correct index that that will assume it has to be equal to the index the correct element is equal to the index itself the reason i have explained earlier please look at it again if you are not clear with it if the this is just a question specific condition we have to check that we have to make sure that the array doesn't go out of bound following the loop so that's why i applied it and now we will see that the array if make sure that the array of i that is the element at the ith index if it's not equal to the array at the correct index as in if the element at i is not the element what it should be then we will swap it with then we will swap both of them actually then we will swap both of them don't worry it's a function i'll make in just a few minutes else if the element is right then we'll just move our pointer forward okay now we'll search through the sorted array for int i equal to 0 now in this we are searching for the in the sorted array okay i less than arr dot length and i plus plus simple for loop if the array at the index as in the element is not equal to is not equal to the index itself then we have to return index okay you got it we are searching through the array and whenever we are encountering and if we are encountering an index that is not equal to the element at that index then then we have to return that particular index as that is our missing element otherwise if we traverse through the whole array and we don't encounter this condition then we'll simply return the length of the array the, this reason also i have explained earlier if not clear please make sure you look at it again now again i'll make the now just simply making this swap function it's simple uh, you must be familiar with it I'll use a temp uh, variable to carry it out and temp is equal to array of i array of i is equal to array of correct and then array of correct is equal to array of i okay so I think oh sorry Array of correct is equal to temp. Okay, so I feel that uh, this should run successfully. Sorry, guys, I made a simple error. Not an error, basically a slip of mind. I, you know, I named this variable i. I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, you know, use i because I already used it earlier. So I changed it to index and let's run it now. I guess it should work. Yeah, it works. Okay, so let's submit it. Okay, success. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can connect with me on my socials. I link in the description. Also, please feel free to check out Noamia's DSA Bootcamp. It's pretty amazing. That's it for this video. Thanks. Bye bye.